Oh, you wanted me to say something funny? Yeah. Like a like I'm funny, like a funny guy, like I'm a funny guy to you. Maybe you're maybe you're the next Stan Lee. Oh yeah, I could be the next Stan Lee. Excelsior. I think that's trademarked. Hey there, Misfits. It's time for another Under the Lid, and we're taking a look at Age of Comics today. Not today, and never mind. Age of Comics is where we're going. The Golden Years. It's not today, it's the Golden Years. I don't know. That's all I got. But this looks cool. This is a Kickstarter, actually, that's just out now, right? I just got that in the mail. Misfit Tom here, my, my co host with the most is, said he just got it in the mail, so we're going to unbox the crap out of this. Now, I don't know much about it. However, as always, I will perk up like a puppy when you mention worker placement because it's like one of my top three genres worker placement and comic books and comics yes i know so it's a worker placement game in which players run a comic book publishing company you're literally publishing comics and you're developing new comics ripping off other comics but you're hiring creative teams and writers and creating ripoffs or your own original stuff and trying to basically publish them and be the best bestest comic book company there is which as you all know is marvel so you're just trying to be Marvel, basically. I'm not argue DC. <laughs> yeah, I know you're not gonna argue DC. If Eugene was here, he would argue DC. Um, so this looks awesome. I actually like the sound of this already. This is by Lyrius Games, which I'm not familiar with them. Are they they new? The box is really sharp. I do like the look of the art. That's really kind of nice, stylized. They they did not skimp on this. This looks really good. Apparently, this is one of those games that you keep your punch boards too. They said, do not throw away the punch board because they're used to hold things in place. See? I'm glad you bred that. Yeah, that says it right there. See? I like when they give you a guide. Yeah, that is nice. I do like guides. Here's your base game components. And oh, we got collector's edition expansions and mini expansions and stuff like that. And a solo mode. Yeah, so I went in all in on this puppy. Obviously, yes, you did. So that looks pretty cool. I'm digging this vibe already. Tokens, tokens, tokens. So, worker placement game, where are you running your publishing company? I like the fact of that. And I, I do like I do like the 40s-ish art. Um, Deadly golden Dames, age gold, Golden Age stuff. Ironically, uh, when me and Misfit Amanda were up in Orlando recently at a, at a, a spooky convention, um, we, uh, were, we watched the end of Shazam 2, which, by the way, don't see Shazam. It's awful. Um, it but was okay. I, I don't know, that whole... The first one that, was really good. Uh, that whole movie was bad. Anyway, um, they fed evil unicorn Skittles. They, they, I'm going to say that again because they, got, they fed evil unicorn Skittles. They were misunderstood unicorns. They fed them Skittles. And anyway. They were good unicorns. Yes, yes, exactly, yes. It Taste was, the rainbow, baby. It was, it was so bad. It was so bad. But my point is this. It led me to, to uh, Amanda asking me about um, the Captain Marvel thing. And I had to go down the, uh, the rabbit hole with her because I already knew about, I already knew about it, but even I had to cross reference, uh, Captain Marvel because Captain Marvel was originally a character, um, that was not Captain Marvel from Marvel, um, and was known as Captain Marvel back in the day and wasn't even part of DC. Because there was no Marvel comics back then. Exactly. And there was no, well... DC, I think, was later even. Or was DC... No, yeah, DC Marvel was around. Was, DC was, was around. Timely at the time. Yes. And DC was around, but believe it or not, as you know him as Shazam, he was originally known as Captain Marvel under another comic book company, which doesn't exist anymore. Um, I think it was like... Carlton Farrell Comics, I think. No, it was like Farrelly Comics or something like that. I think it's Carlton. No. I'm going to put a super down here. You go ahead. I'm going to Google I just it, looked it, but it it's like Farrelly here. Comics or whatever the heck. It's sort of an F. Anyway... And he was the most popular superhero. He was more popular than Superman. Yeah, Everybody loved was, him. He was big. He was big. He was huge. Six hours later. So there you go. The long, sordid history of Shazam, which has nothing to do with this game. Okay, and keep in mind, <laughs> as you've been telling this story, you have unpacked 80% of this box. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm good at multitasking. You said anything about what was in the box. You don't have... So just... why don't we rewind this and tell us what you did? <laughs> okay, guys, there are cards. Lots of cool looking cards that I have no, but I do like Space Unknown. That looks like a winner for me. I, I hate Westerns. Dogfight sounds kind of cool. The front, you know, you got your war comics. So obviously you got different genres. Yeah, this is Golden Age stuff. The Damned Detectives. Love Gaze. Oh, hey, whoa, what's going on in that picture? Oh my, oh, I'm getting, hey, all right. Hey, all right. Yeah, I'm liking this now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I think 
think you're going to go heavy on romance comics. Going to go heavy on romance comics. Oh, yeah. And these are different characters you can get. And then I guess this is your solo mode. These are solo mode stuff. We're going to ignore that. It's nice that they got a solo mode. We're going to chuck that out the window. Well, I know we don't solo mode, though. And look at all the meeples. Got tons of meeples going on here. Look at all these good meeples. They look very cool. Very, very cool. Obviously, they're different player colors and stuff. You got your own player colors here. You got your building, which is probably your scoring. Now, it would be really cool if you could name your own. Like, can you name your own comic company in this? Like, whatever the heck you want. Yeah, you could pretend about anything, man. I mean, I guess you could, but that takes the fun out of when you can actually name it. So now that you know the sort of history of Captain Marvel, do you feel a little enlightened, folks? Do you? Did you know? Put in uh, the comments, do you feel better knowing the history of Captain Marvel? Actually, sorry, Shazam, as he's now known. Two very boring minutes later. When the kid tries to buy uh, booze at the 7-Eleven. I didn't get that. that because, right. because he's like, you know, an adult when he's Shazam. <laughs> this whole video. Excuse me, where, sir. I would like one beer, please. This, this, this whole video became talking about Shazam <laughs> and it's entire. Well, we might, I might have to cut this out. This <laughs> I just don't know where I'm going to edit this. <laughs> Back to the cards. Okay. You got Killer Dames. Call the police. Well, that's something, I guess. Call the police. Call the police. We're stuck on Shazam. <laughs> it's, a, it's also a felony to talk about Shazam. <laughs> Gang wars over Shazam. <laughs> Haunting yeah, tales of Shazam. <laughs> the true terror of Shazam. Get off Shazam. <laughs> Carmilla. Oh, well, that's another, um, um, now we're getting saucy. It's a horror comic. Yeah, but it's, it's, a, it looks kind of like Elvira. It's a girl right? vampire biting a girl, and it's called Innocent Lost. Spicy. Spicy. How These about Golden Age comics? Well, I, I, I'm like, I don't think that happened back in the day. Just call me crazy. Oh, I bet it did. Um, I mean, okay, whatever. Anyway, that's before there was a comics authority. <laughs> I was going to say. Heartbreakers, jilted and scorned, love letter. Oh, Charles, I cannot accept the flowers. I'm in love with this vampire. <laughs> that, works. that works, right? Teen drama. Oh, geez. Bill, Norma. Billy, Norma, and Veronica. I mean, they're just make a thruple. Jeez, what the heck, people. Stories of tomorrow. Future wonder. That is very... Sci-fi. Sci-fi. Neptunio. <laughs> Neptunio. Alien words. Listen, I would not be caught dead in that dress on that planet. I'm just telling you right now, that would not fly with me, okay? Might be a little cold. It would be very cold, <laughs> as a matter of fact. Angel Liberty. Um, why was he flying a plane? Or did he take out the plane? I don't know. Miss Tiger. Um, okay, sure. Freedom. I mean, you punch Hitler, that's pretty much freedom. Then you get to lame westerns. And then these are, I guess, like knockoffs of the other ones. Yeah, that is nice artwork on those. I, I got to give them credit. Whoever they have as the their uh, as their artist did a great job. Listen, guys, this is really good. And they got they got a nice uh, in in inset in the box. Storage for all solution, your stuff. Storage baby. solution. But we're gonna make room for these boards before this video goes on way too long because we had a Shazam filled video as it was about Golden Age of Comics. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that was definitely one of those trademarked tabletop tangents. <laughs> tangents, yeah. We should have we should have like an alarm maybe something go off like in the video like whoop whoop like tangent alerts you know whoop whoop. Pardon us, we've gone off the rails. We've gone off the rails again. So a these few are, minutes later. <laughs> a few minutes later. A few <laughs> minutes later. Um, these are your player boards, obviously. So you're like the blue comic book company and the brown comic book company. Listen, I think we should I should you, make you up names. You can come up with a good name. We can come up, yeah. yeah definitely you don't should. have to write it on the board, but. And then here is your worker placement board where you're developing ideas, hire, print, royalties, and sales. And you go and probably you sell your comics around town and everything. Yeah, it's all New York City. That would be New York City, yes. Was Shazam invented in New York City? Probably. Probably. Everything was in New York City back then. You're not wrong. Guys, this game looks like a ton of fun. And despite our tangent, I'm actually really excited to play this. I love the Golden Age of Comics. And uh, I love just the look of the art. And I love worker placement, guys. So this looks like a winner. We're going to talk about it more, I'm sure, because, you know, Tom bought it. We got to play it, right? But, oh, we're playing it. But we are totally playing this, yeah. Until then, guys, of course, as always, don't forget to shazam. No, 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 no. Game Excelsior. on. Excelsior. Oh. No, no, we can't say Excelsior. We can't say that. Sorry. <laughs> Stanley's family gonna sue us. Game on! <laughs>
Thank you.